Welcome back to WJCL 22 Morning News. It is just about 15 minutes now before 7 o'clock on Monday morning. Hope you had a nice weekend. And one difference we'll see today than from the weekend is more sunshine already getting light outside as we look live uh, from the low country. This is Hardyville. See the traffic rolling along on Highway 278. Temperature 64. There's also a little patchy fog in a few spots. Tracking out the tropics, of course, very busy. All eyes will be down into the Gulf of Mexico. Also, we have Hurricane Leslie, which is out over the open Atlantic. And uh, there is a Milton right there. Begin to see that eye show up a little bit more over the last couple hours. I would not be surprised, maybe within the next advisory or by the uh, at least the 11 o'clock advisory, that they make this a, a, a major hurricane. Once you see that eye begin to show itself uh, like it is now, this is really when it begins to ramp up quite a bit. Of course, we'll be watching this very closely uh, as we go throughout the next several days as it tracks closer to Florida. This would make landfall on Wednesday evening very close to Tampa. Category 4 tomorrow also through Wednesday. Major hurricane there on Wednesday as it moves on shore tracking right across central Florida and then off the uh, southeast coast uh, probably exiting Florida somewhere around Kennedy Space Center north of the Bahamas. But notice where is this track here is to the south of coastal Georgia and the low country. Just remember this just a small shift a little to the north would put greater impacts across our area. Uh, but right now that we will see some impacts with some gusty winds that will be possible. And I'll show you those impacts that we could see here in just a second. And you can see all the lines represents a different model. Winds right now of Milton of 100 miles per hour. And you can see it uh, to about just north of Miami through central Florida is where most of the models take it. And just south of Jacksonville is where some of those northern models are showing it. So here are the impacts that we could see across coastal Georgia in the low country. This would be Wednesday night and into Thursday, mainly Thursday morning. Of course, rip currents are already high winds gusting maybe 30 to 45 miles per hour. Now this will be mainly at the coast where you see those stronger wind gusts and don't expect right now a whole lot of rain out of this. Maybe just a few downpours and the tornado threat uh, definitely will be low. So be watching this and like I said, we could probably will see some gusty winds with this uh, Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. Also, there's Hurricane Kirk out of the northern Atlantic. Also, maybe some more development off the coast of Africa and Hurricane Leslie, which will weaken as we go throughout the week staying out over the open Atlantic and having no impact on land. Of course, all eyes will be in the Gulf of Mexico, watching it very closely with big impacts to the west coast of Florida, large storm surge, and also uh, those hurricane conditions beginning throughout the day on Wednesday. Temperatures outside mid upper 60s as a pleasant start. All the clouds are to our south and we're going to see a gorgeous day. Sunshine all the way through the afternoon. Highs for today for most of us will be near 86 and tomorrow we're going to repeat it once again, mostly sunny and then track of the tropics Wednesday and into Thursday. I do have an impact day on Thursday for coastal areas. Probably we'll see some strong gusty winds uh, in the uh, morning and into the early afternoon. But after we get through Thursday, beautiful weather Friday through the weekend with sunshine, morning lows in the 50s and highs in the 70s. For the islands, 82 today, tomorrow, the possible impacts from Milton would be late Wednesday and also into Thursday morning.